each week at It's Happening Out. <laughs> out. We I'm ask our... No one said that. <laughs> right. <laughs> we ask... Uh, I don't even know where I'm at. I'm so <laughs> flustered. What's up? Uh, each week at It's Happening Out, we ask our host about what is important to them. But there's a twist, and that is it's got to be in just 30 seconds. And I'm going to be very strict this week because y'all have talked so much. This segment is called What's <laughs> what on Your Mind? Oh, yeah. We, we talked so talk much. So okay, much. Amsterdam. From, it, from, from the drunk, by the drunk person. Jet Pizza. <laughs> Wait, did I say Jet? A jet <laughs> Pizza. Jet's is the LGBTQ plus pizza of choice for South Florida. What's on our mind is the deep dish Detroit style gonna, pizza, or perhaps the cauliflower thing for us. God. God, I'm gonna really miss. I have a terrible day. I'm a terrible day. Yeah. All right, Babe, Jets, we miss you. Babe, Jets, we miss you. We're gonna pay your bail. Get out of jail. <laughs> Jets Pizza has been with it's happening out for four years. They <laughs> captured our attention for our fourth anniversary. Oh, you would be a <laughs> terrible on uh, uh, the Wheel on the of phone. Fortune. Right? They have bad news. <laughs> With their campaign <laughs> called Bigger is Better. <laughs> and, of course, they're talking about their slices. What, what did, did you, you think th we were talking about? <laughs> Jet supports a huge variety of LGBTQ plus events and nonprofits. With more than 400 locations nationwide and 35 in Florida, they are considered one of the best franchise opportunities in America. And their South Florida LGBTQ community adores Jets Pizza. And that's why they are the sponsor of What's On My Mind. All right. <laughs> Wow, Faye, we can't wait oh my to gosh. make bail in Spain and we replace <laughs> Max <laughs> Ben. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. I'm, I don't know what you're talking so about. So let's, let's, let's start. How many drinks did you have? Uh, Max Benny, let's uh, start with you. What's on your okay. mind? Okay, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm super, super excited. So uh, Prism is celebrating our third annual Prismversary, our uh, third annual Prismversary Gala at... Uh, on Saturday at 6 to 9 p.m. at the Center for Spiritual Living in Fort Lauderdale. I'm so, so, so stoked to celebrate queer joy, queer resilience, and, and all of the youth-led, proudly youth-led work. We say the young people are the future. We should be showing up for young people. We should be investing in that future. So I encourage all of y'all at the table, and then obviously the, those folks who are watching, to go to www.prismfl.org forward slash gala to get your tickets. Excellent, and we'll all be there. And Cameron Glass, what's on your mind this what's week? What's on my mind? I'm still coming down from the ever so fabulous Virgin Cruise I took. I had such a fabulous time, even with just that one little moment of a hate crime, being able to go out in this elegant red dress and have people pay for drinks for me. My only thing is, out of such a vast amount of gay people, I still ended up single and horny and alone. Virgin Voyage, please sponsor me on a trip. Send me an owl. We'll be live there. A cruise can't be a miracle. Ah! All right. Ah! <laughs> but it's only two fans, Aaron. Mark the bachelor. Or a charity. Mark. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Mark Bennett, what's on your mind? Uh, well, I love you, Cameron. The Prism anniversary is on my mind. I will definitely be there. We're bringing Luke and putting it out there on social media. But the other thing on my oh, mind cool. is I had a a gay friend come and stay the weekend who's in their 30-somethings who had never seen Chu Wong Fu. <gasps> I know. Even I have. Even he knows. Never seen Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. <sighs> okay, and one more gay gasp, never had seen Paris is Burning. Oh, okay. I actually so haven't seen Paris. Oh, child. We wanted to go out to, to Fort Lauderdale that night, and I said, not until you see these three movies. We sat right down on the couch. So get educated, go see those classics. And uh, especially, I think it's now it's even more relevant with what's going on oh, in drag. For sure. Paris is burning. <laughs> it's not even in the same league as those other two films. Paris mm -hmm. is burning. Touch is the like, skin's oiling. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Right. And Elimination, what's on your mind this so, week? So on my mind this week is May 5th is the um, Missing and Murdered Indigenous um, Awareness Day. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that on May 5th, 2021, um, President Biden signed a proclamation that makes that day kind of relevant. Um, since 2016, there's been over 6,000 missing um, and or just taken Alaska Natives and American Indians. And so we have to like bring young women and girls in general, we have to bring awareness to that because it, it cannot go on. We have to stop. Like it has to be some kind of conversation that needs to be had so that that way we can kind of bring alarm to the country. Otherwise, that that phenomenon will continue. So that's, that's where I read on May 5th, I stand up for our indigenous folks. I got my heart on. Excellent. <laughs> and Jonathan Casanias, what's on your mind this week? 
Well, you know, I moved to uh, Wilton Manors and I was sitting in a lovely pool, a heated pool at that, with a bunch of gay men. Are you out all, now? I'm out now, yeah. And they all started complaining about how, you know, the trans folk are really victimizing themselves and, and um, how they don't do anything for the community but themselves. And they complain about how the rest of the queer and gay community don't show up for them. And I said, well, when was the last time you showed up to a protest or a march? And they said, oh, shit, you're right. And I think sometimes you, when you throw back in their face, they, they begin to realize how much they're not there for their brothers and sisters just as much as their brothers and sisters were not there for them or how much their brothers and sisters did for them and they didn't do anything in return. And so sometimes you got to kind of show up for your friends and let them know that they're in the wrong and hopefully you'll, you'll change your mind or two. So just remember to tell your friends that. Hell yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm reading a book um, <clears throat> just to comment on this. Um, Large book. Uh, uh, I'm reading a book, like and television. there's an interesting uh, metaphor that it does in the book about how uh, bears eat um, fruit or other things in uh, bushes and trees, and, uh, and, and they make it a political statement. And what they say is the first thing a bear does is it eats the, the fruit or whatever it is that they're eating on the tree that hangs right next to the ground, and it's the first thing that they eat. And they like what they're eating. And then the bear gets up on its hind legs and it eats something a little higher, three, four, five feet. And the bear likes what it eats. And then it starts to climb the bush or the tree. And it continues to move up and up and up as far as it can until the bear can't climb any farther to get continued what it's eating or fruit. And it falls. And it falls to the ground. And then the bear is satisfied and doesn't try to eat anymore. And they make the comparison that that's what goes on in our political world. That the person that's going to try to eat you starts with the lowest hanging fruit or whatever it's eating in the bush or the tree. And for the LGBT community and for Governor Ron DeSantis and radical GOP, that's trans. Mm -hmm. And then it goes a little farther and it might be women and women's health care. And it goes a little higher and it's woke and black people. But eventually it's going to get, it's going to con Continue to climb the tree to get us white folks in LGBT. And it's a really interesting metaphor because it seems so true to me. And I just happen to be sitting up higher in the tree or the bush than the food that's been eaten below me. Mm -hmm. That's what that observation is. And that's why sitting in the pool, you wouldn't dare to say the things that you heard because you're too stupid to know where you sit mm -hmm. in the bush or the tree. That's what I think. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.